Hey guys, Logan Battles here, and today I'm here to give you guys my review for a movie I went to see in theaters yesterday, uh, Pacific Rim Uprising, the sequel to the first Pacific Rim, uh, and it stars John Boyega as the son of Stecker Pentecost in the first Pacific Rim film, who got arrested for trying to steal some scrap uh, parts of a Jaeger in a scrapyard of some sorts, and he's been given the opportunity to try to lead the Jaeger pilots into battle uh, against the uh, incoming kaijus who wanted to uh, do nothing more than just uh, take uh, over the earth. Because 10 years earlier, humanity has been able to succeed in their victory against the uh, kaijus uh, who made the breach uh, a portal between two dimensions and they are coming back in this movie with vengeance so i was really excited for this movie for one specific reason i was a humongous fan of the first pacific rim film i i love pacific rim i think it's one of the uh, most entertaining movies i have ever seen in my life like there are plenty of films that i could identify them as being uh, some of the the most entertaining movies I have ever seen, and Pacific Rim is one of them. After walking out of the theater, I can say that this film was fun to watch. Uh, it was very fun to watch. It's very entertaining, I will say, but it wasn't like on that level of like a most entertaining film I've seen so far this year or even this past decade. Like it's not on that same level of being like one of the most entertaining movies I have ever seen as the first Pacific Rim the film was. And by the way, this film was not directed by Guillermo del Toro, uh, who directed the first Pacific Rim film. This time we get Stephen S. Denied, I think I got his thing right, uh, directing this film, uh, directed a Pacific Rim Uprising, and he directed this film uh, pretty solidly. Uh, uh, relatively above average, I would say. It's not like so well directed like some of Steven Spielberg films were, or, or uh, James Cameron's films were, or anybody else, uh, Christopher Nolan, for goodness sakes. But his directing for this film was relatively decent, let's just say that. The action sequences in this movie are very well done, uh, they're very entertaining, uh, without a doubt. It's just that I feel like uh, the action sequences in Pacific Rim uh, were better than the, se than the action sequences in the in this film. I felt like the action in this film wasn't done in a way that the first that the action in the first Pacific Rim film was done um, and, and just makes you remember like most of the action sequences in like say the first Pacific Rim film. You're, you're not, you didn't really I didn't get much of that memorable action sequences uh, uh, in this film. I, I got a couple that I could that I can point out, but uh, like I said, this movie kind of lacks in, uh, you know, memorable moments uh, within the action sequences. I actually like the main protagonist in a Pacific Rim film, so to speak, this time around. Uh, uh, J uh, John Boyega, I feel like, was a better overall main protagonist in a Pacific Rim film, this one specifically, than uh, uh, Charlie Hunnam in the first Pacific Rim film. Although his character does kind of fall I into the very uh, weak uh, writing uh, that is for this movie, uh, in terms of like the comedy and the dialogue and some of the quotes that were kind of brought out as trying to be memorable quotes, but not really. And speaking of the comedy, uh, I will say that the comedy in this film was average. Uh, just a a barely average uh, comedy. There were uh, plenty of jokes that did make me laugh and plenty of other jokes that didn't make me laugh. There were a few funny moments that actually didn't turn out to be funny. Uh, there were some uh, funny moments that actually turned out to be cringeworthy. For example, there was this one very quick scene in which uh, Jake Pentecost was in talks with uh, Mako, yes, uh, the woman who played Mako in the first film returns in this film. Um, he was involved in a conversation with her about Scott Eastwood's character, who, by the way, uh, wasn't really all that great, to be honest. Um, and he just talks about how he looks uh, handsome and sexy. A at that moment, I was like, okay, buddy, you've gone too far with saying that. Uh, like, come on, uh, don't, 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 don't do that too much, okay? 
The main girl in this film, I don't really know exactly her name, but she was probably the standout of this movie for me. Uh, yes, John Boyega was a better overall main pro plays a better overall main protagonist in this film than Charlie Hunnam uh, did oh, or was in the first Pacific Rim film. But who really stood out to me the most, if that is even the question that I was uh, to answer to, I would say the young girl. She was the standout of this movie for me. Yes, there were some questionable moments as she did that make you uh, like question why she did it, but for the most part, she did a very good job. I feel like this movie uh, kind of tried so hard to be on that same level of like being a very a uh, cool, uh, badass, awesome, a uh, rock'em sock'em robot. Uh, versus a monster f uh, fighting movie or something like that. It just makes it all uh, entertaining as the first film was. But it kind of struggled a lot uh, at doing that. Uh, it, it's trying to, it, its effort to try to be as entertaining as the first one, but in all honesty, it really struggled in terms of the pacing and the dialogue. Mo some of the dialogue, I will say, and uh, the humor, which was really average, and uh, the casting, which was relatively decent. But I will say that overall, I did have a good time watching Pacific Rim Uprising. Not as much as I did with Pacific Rim, or the first one. Uh, I, I feel like Pacific Rim was almost everything uh, that I was hoping that Pacific Rim Uprising would be. And it didn't do everything uh, that it was going to. Um, trying to go to and yeah that's basically what I'm saying but it, I did have a good time watching it so with that reason alone I'm giving Pacific Rim Uprising a silver medal of honor. It's not as much of a bad movie as some people are saying it is. I don't think it's a bad movie. I do think it's a very watchable film. You are going to have a fun time watching this if you want to see this as like a big a, a robots versus monsters fights scenes type of movie uh, and just <laughs> stuff like that you're gonna have a fun time watching it it's just that I was pointing out a few issues that I have with it that's overall uh, what I'm trying to say uh, I, I liked it didn't love it anyway guys that is my review for Pacific Rim Uprising if you guys enjoyed my review, please click the like button and comment down below to let me know if you have seen Pacific Rim Uprising. If you enjoy what you've seen here and you want to see future videos from me, please press up there to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great week, Battle Squad, and as always, fight the good fight.